Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you all this popular recipe that's been taking the internet by storm. And this one is for cream cheese garlic bread. Now it does contain eggs and I want to tell you if you wanted to omit the eggs, feel free to. And if you wanted to omit the sugar from the cream cheese portion, feel free to. Switch out this recipe and just tailor it to your needs so to start this recipe i have one block of softened cream cheese and i'm adding in sugar we're going to mix the sugar with the cream cheese until it dissolves once you've mixed it really well we're going to take this and we'll place it in a piping bag and set it aside if you don't have a piping bag you can use a ziploc bag after you've done that, the next step is to make the sauce that has to coat the bread. So to a bowl, I'm going in with an egg. In goes some milk. And as I said, the egg is optional. And if you wanted to use coconut or almond milk here, feel free to. In goes some salted butter. If you're using unsalted, make sure and add some salt to this mixture. Next goes in some freshly grated garlic. I'm going to add in some black pepper and some dried parsley flakes or you can use fresh parsley flakes. Give that a mix. Now I'm going to add in a little more richness by going in with some eggless mayo or regular mayo. Mix that in. Once it's mixed in properly, just set it aside. Let's prepare the bread. Now I'm using hops bread for this. You can use any type of round bread that you can find. And we're going to cut it into six pieces. Now when you're cutting the bread, don't cut it exactly in a cross. You have to cut it a little shy of a cross so you can get those six equal wow. pieces. And make sure and don't go all the way down to the bottom because you still want to keep the bread and those <laughs> pieces intact now take your cream cheese filling and pipe it in between each cut so we have to go ahead and put those in each of the cuts and we're doing this for all of the bread this recipe makes a five to six if you wanted to bake your own bread of course you can I'm just using a basic hops bread so once you've done that and you've piped it, what we're going to do now is take our mi milk mixture with the garlic butter and we're going to pour it all over the bread. We want to make sure that the bread soaks up that mixture. So if, you're if you wanted to, you can dip this entire thing into that mixture. I just prefer spooning it on. You would be able to do whatever works for you. So this method works best for me. If you are making this in a big amount and you have tons of milk garlic mixture in there, just dip the entire thing in there. Guys, this mixture smells so heavenly and I'm so excited for you all to try this recipe. So once you're finished coating and soaking your bread, we're going to place this into our preheated oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes until it's light brown in color. You don't want to over bake it because it can dry out the bread and get it hard. So there you have it. How beautiful does it look? I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe. You can enjoy this hot or you can enjoy it at room temperature. You can freeze it up to a month and refrigerate up to a week, which I doubt it would last that long. So I hope you all give this recipe a try. Let me know what you think. I hope I made it simple enough for everyone to follow. It tasted amazing, guys. Everyone in my family loved it. And I have to say, it really is a hit. If you haven't tried this as yet, you need to give it a try. So thank you all so much for joining me today in the kitchen. Remember, as I said, substitute all of the egg and the milk for other items. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to continue to stay safe. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Thank you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.